The Masterclass at the Maggie Flanagan Studio is a 10-week advanced scene study class for professionally trained actors. In this video, Gene Pope talks about his decision to take the class and how it directly impacted his audition process. Well, when I left the two-year conservatory, uh, I was a little nervous, but I felt that I had gained a lot of knowledge. So I started applying it. And then something interesting started to happen as I was auditioning more and more. So I started, and this was when I realized, you know, I was working with different kinds of actors, different kinds of people who were asking different things of me in a different way. And I said to myself, um, I'm starting to drift. I felt like I was starting to drift, that I was in danger of uh, going away from the core that the answers that I was supplying to the question were not, were not necessarily right in line with what would be the most effective, whether it was on stage or on camera. And so I decided that I, if a master class came up, I wanted to get right back into that to recenter myself, to remind myself of why I'm an actor and how I can do my best to be an actor. And that's exactly why I came back to the course was to get that done. Plus the fact that Maggie offered so kindly to allow me to do a scene, which I've always been excited about, which is a scene of a person who is not normal, but has something wrong with them. Uh, and because it's more challenging, it's layered, but I just, it was something I wanted to get my teeth into and she felt that I would, uh, I was ready for it and I was thrilled and, and it was extraordinarily effective that way, so. And how important was it that the class was small in size? It, when you take into effect the idea that Maggie has such a wealth of information, I can't think of having too small a size with her <laughs> uh, uh, because you want to have as much time with her as possible because that's the time when she, it's a very relaxed atmosphere and she knows you're there to work hard and she accepts that and she accepts you as an actor who now has some experience and that wants to take their, their work to another level. And so with that, knowing that, she spends a lot of time compared to the two-year conservatory, relatively speaking, because you don't have to cycle through endless scenes and you get your 20 minutes and that's it. If you're having an issue, she'll, she's able to take the time to work on that issue with you. And, and work on it and work on it. And there's plenty of time because there's whatever, 10 people in the room. And that is a revelation because you want to hear as much as you possibly can from Maggie Flanagan about how you're doing, what are you doing right, what are you doing wrong, and how to improve it. So for me, a smaller class is just, uh, that's a decision that they made that's just a gift to actors anywhere, in my opinion. And what was it like to work so closely with Maggie in the class? Hmm. <clears throat> Maggie is one of the most respectable people I have ever worked with in terms of respecting actors, no matter what your level is. And because of that, that empowers you to experiment more. That you're not, you don't feel like, oh my God, it's Maggie Flanagan. I'm going to have to be on my best behavior. No, no. It's just Maggie, and she's talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, and she's guiding you. And you go, okay, let me try this. And at the end of it, she's not going to go, oh, my God, what was that? You know, she's going to say, no, just think about this. Try it again. And that's what I felt our relationship was like, and it, it was a gift. Again, it's a gift she's giving you. You've got to take these gifts when you can when they were available. She's one of the best minds around in terms of acting, in my opinion. And you have to take it while it's here or you'll be very sorry that you missed it. What did you find difficult about the class? Hmm. What I found difficult about the class was the first two minutes I sat down with Maggie and with my partner and started to do my first reading. And the reason for that was because I was trying to please Maggie too much. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want her to think I was a wanker or something, and, you know, and that I'd learned something from the class because you know, I did all this work. And 
after about two minutes, she simply said, Jean, stop a second, stop. Just relax. Take a breath. I just want you to react and respond. I went, yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'm trying way too hard. And that was it. Once that was off the table, and then the rest of it was uh, just a pleasure of, of work, you know, really working intensely. And, but it's, when you're working that intensely on something that you love, I mean, and this is your career that you want here, it's always a joy. It's not a difficulty. It's, it's, a, it's a difficulty in that um, somebody is critiquing maybe, but it's never in, in, in something that's going to pull you down. It's something that's going to lift you up. So where's the downside? I, I didn't find a downside other than those first two minutes, which was basically my own doing. And how did the class get you back on course with your career? I, um, a few weeks literally after the class, I was sitting at uh, a Ruddy Productions uh, uh, reading and I'm sitting in the front row and one of the people that was in my class was sitting in that same row and all of a sudden she starts hitting me in the shoulder. She's going, Jean, 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 I have to introduce you to somebody. And she starts poking the other person from this other studio and brings them over. And she says, Jean was in the, my class and he was doing, you know, how I learned to drive, you know, and he was, and he was playing Uncle Peck. You've got to let him read for the part. And she says, well, we've already done of our door auditions. They're doing callbacks. And she was nonstop. And long story short, I went there, they did a callback, it lasted four hours, but it was so much fun. And I have, of course, I'm looking around going, well, that guy looks like he could be the part. That guy looks pretty good too. Wow, there's a lot of competition here, damn. But I had just come out, I knew in my mind exactly how I wanted to do this scene and do this character, and I felt the strength of that and so I just did what I was going to do and took the direction that I was given and but kept everything that I had learned in my head at all times and I survived the four hours they said we're going to do another call back next weekend I went oh, okay and that weekend all of a sudden we started out let's say 16 people and it just started whittling away as the four out another four hours went by until it was just two of us and then they had us come in and do the scene that I had done in class with Maggie, the exact same scene. And they had us do it three times with three different points of view and direction, which was so much fun. And the next thing we knew, we were both going home. I was driving home and I get the cause. Like, we'd like to offer you the part. That's like, so, you know, something, it's not, that's not the way it's going to always happen, but I do believe that you make your luck. Okay. And so, I feel that I've been lucky since I left, but I want to come back again because I want to always make sure that there, there's always more to learn. And, and I, I want to make sure that I always have my tools as sharp as humanly possible because you're going to walk into that audition one day and all of a sudden you are just right for it and you have to be perfect. And this is the way to do it, is to come back and, and refresh yourself. To register for the Masterclass with Maggie Flanagan, contact the studio directly by calling 917-789-1599.